everybody, I'm Jackie from Multnomah County Library, and I'm here to tell you about some very special books that won an award. The award is called the Theodore Seuss Geisel Award. Does that Seuss part sound familiar to you? Did it make you think of Dr. Seuss? This award is named after the famous children's author, Dr. Seuss, whose whole name is Theodore Seuss Geisel. He wrote books that are fun to read, but are not too hard. And the books that have won this award are like Dr. Seuss's books, although they aren't written by him. They are fun and they're not too difficult. Books that win the Geisel Award get a sticker with a picture of Dr. Seuss on them. The winner gets a gold sticker, like you can see there on top, and the runners-up, which are also called honor books, get silver stickers. So let's hear about the winning book from 2020. Stop Bot by James Yang. A boy is out for a walk with his family and his cool flying bot, kind of like a drone. But then, all of a sudden, in front of a big apartment building, the bot takes off on its own. The boy can't make it come back. Stop, bot! The building doorman takes off, running up the stairs to see if he can rescue the bot. The man on the third floor has a big broom. Can he catch the bot? Can the chef on the fourth floor catch it with her giant fork and spoon? And what about the giraffe? And why is there a giraffe living in an apartment building? And why does this guy think that he can rescue the bot with bananas? Find out when you read Stop Bot by James Yang. And this one is one of the honor books. Chick and Brain, Smell My Foot by C.C. Bell. Chick and Brain are friends. You'd think that Brain is smart because he's a brain, right? But he's not really so smart and Chick lets him know. Chick says, Brain, you look very smart. And Brain says, yeah, I know. But you're not very smart. Oh yeah? Smell my foot. Ew, should Chick smell his foot? What do you think? Hmm, let's see what Chick does. Chick says, no, I will not smell your foot. And Brain says, oh, come on, smell it. Smell it now. And Chick says, no, I will not smell your foot. But my foot smells good. My foot smells great. And Chick says, maybe your foot smells good. Maybe your foot smells great but I will not smell your foot until you say please. Oh, I get it. Chick wants Brain to be polite. Hmm, if Brain is polite, maybe then Chick will smell his foot? Hmm, let's see. So Chick says, like this, please smell my foot. Oh, okay, says Brain. <sighs> Whew, that is something else. Oh my gosh, Brain just smelled Chick's foot instead of the other way around. He was definitely not using his brain. You can read more silly stories about these friends when you read this book. Hi, I'm Kathy from Multnomah County Library and I'm here to share some fun books with you. The first one is called Flubby is Not a Good Pet. Cammy had a cat named Flubby she noticed that Flubby is different from her friend's pets. Cammie's friend Kim has a pet and her pet can sing. Can Flubby sing? No. Her friend Sam's pet can play catch. Do you think Flubby can play catch? No. There must be something Flubby is good at, but what could it be? Read this book to find out. The next book I have is called The Book Hog. The Book Hog loved books. 
and he had quite a few. He loved the way they smelled and the way the pages felt in his hooves. He especially liked the ones with pictures. The book hogs spent lots of times getting more books, but he had a big secret. He didn't know how to read. He was surrounded by books, but he couldn't read any of them. There was no one to read to him a bedtime story at night. And then one day, the book hog visited a very special place. Can you guess what it was? That's right, he went to the library. Miss Olive, the librarian, said, pick out a book and I'll read it with you. Wait here, said the book hog, and off he went. Where was he going? Find out when you read the book hog. Hey everybody, it's Jackie again. So now you've heard about all of the 2020 winners of the Geisel Award. Now let's hear about the ones that won in the year before, in 2019. The winner in 2019, you can see it has the gold sticker with Dr. Seuss's picture, is Fox the Tiger by Corey R. Tabor. Fox loves tigers because tigers are big. Tigers are fast. Tigers are sneaky. So Fox has an idea. You want to see what he does? He gets out his paint and what does he do? You're right, he paints stripes on himself so he looks like a tiger. Do you think he's going to fool his friends into thinking he's a tiger? Hmm, let's turn the page and see. Oh, I don't think it worked. Hello, Fox, says his friend Turtle. And Fox says, I am not Fox. I am Tiger. Hmm, thinks Turtle. I have an idea. And off he goes. Meanwhile, Tiger waits and waits, and his friend Rabbit comes and waits with him. I wonder what's taking Turtle so long. Let's see. Oh, hi, Turtle, say Tiger and Rabbit. And Turtle says, I am not Turtle. I am race car. Ah, so Turtle wants to be fast and be a race car. And guess what? Now Rabbit has an idea. What do you think Rabbit wants to be? You'll have to read this book to find out. All right, here's another book with a fox. This was one of the honor books in 2019. It's from the Fox and Chick series by Sergio Rezier, and it's called The Party and Other Stories. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's Chick and his loud knocking has interrupted Fox's reading. Fox is not happy. I will go back to reading right now, he says, and slams the door. Knock, knock. Chick knocks again. May I use your bathroom, he asks. Fox agrees, and he eagerly goes back to his reading. He reads, and he reads, and he reads, and Chick doesn't come out of the bathroom. The time flies by. Can you see on the clock how the hours are going by? What is Chick doing in there? Can you guess? <gasps> He's having a party with his friends. Fox isn't too happy, but Chick thinks it's okay. After all, he did ask if he could use the bathroom. This book has three funny stories, all featuring Fox and Chick in comics like this. Hi, this is Kathy from Multnomah County Library, and I'm here today to talk to you about King and Kayla in the case of the lost tooth. King is Kayla's dog, and together they solve mysteries. When Kayla comes home from school, she is excited to show off her lost tooth. And there she is showing it to her dog. It is inside a tooth pillow and to, tonight the tooth fairy will come and get it and leave her some money. She opens the pillow to show King her tooth, but the tooth isn't there. Kayla turns the pillow upside down and shakes it. No tooth. She looks inside her backpack. She dumps everything out. Still no tooth. She looks in the car and still no tooth there. Where could it be? With Kayla's sleuthing skills and King's keen sense of smell, they need to solve the case of the lost tooth. 
Hi everyone, this is Violeta, and I have a couple of books to share with you, starting with See Pip Flap by David Milgram. Poor Pip, he really wants to fly, but when he flaps his arms, he doesn't even leave the ground. Not even when he flaps all night. Pip's friend Otto is a robot. He feels bad that Pip can't fly. Otto is good at building things. Can you see what he builds for Pip? Hint. Look at the top right. Yes, now Pip has a drone to fly. Do you think that will make him happy or will he still want to fly himself? Find out in See Pip Flap. Next up is Tiger vs. Nightmare by Emily Tetri. Have you ever had a nightmare? What if you had someone to chase the nightmares away so you only had good dreams at night? Tiger has had a monster under her bed since she was a baby. But this monster doesn't ever scare Tiger. They are good friends. Still, monsters need something to scare, so instead, monster scares away Tiger's nightmares every night. Tiger has only had good dreams until one night, a huge nightmare with big teeth comes that monster can't scare away. Every night, monster braces itself to scare this nightmare away, but this nightmare is too powerful. Together, Tiger and Monster have to figure out how to defeat the dark nightmare that comes when Tiger sleeps. Thanks for watching these videos, and we hope you enjoy the Geisel Award winners from 2019 and 2020. Mm -hmm.